Hi. So, uh, this video is very much based off the top of my head and things that I've learnt quite a while ago, so please be patient with the amount of knowledge that I actually have on the, the topic or the amount of knowledge that I can actually present right now. So, it is my belief that when you see a person, your judgments based upon them are judgments that you would place upon yourself and how comfortable you really are with yourself. Uh, one of the reasons why I am extremely open and say what I want to say and act how I want to act is because unless I'm acting disorderly or in a way that is going to hurt other people, anyone's opinion is b pretty much based upon how they think I should be. And their judgments upon themselves, really. Like, if someone who is insecure is probably going to try and make me feel insecure because I'm being myself, and that rubs a part of them the wrong way. But I think that being yourself in that kind of situation is actually empowering to the people that are judging you because you are still able to take all of that judgment that they can see that you're receiving from maybe various people and still stand your own ground and eventually gain a lot of respect from others. Uh, there, was a, there was an instance, an, an event, where I felt I was in the position where I needed to meditate to calm down. But the thing was that I didn't want to go outside and into the night and into the grass and darkness to do so. And so the only other option I really had was to meditate next to the dancing crowd at this event. And I felt a lot of like eyes on me. It wasn't the kind of event where it was necessarily too normal to do those kinds of things. I've been to events where there's a whole culture around meditation and just doing that kind of stuff, but uh, although it was the same type of music, the crowd that in itself was a, sort of based around uh, various cultures, but predominantly from one that wouldn't really do that. So I felt a lot of judgment at, at that point, but I, there was a point where I felt this sort of messiah archetype come over me where I had to sacrifice my image for the well-being of myself internally and allow these people to perceive me however they wanted to be but I felt like I was some sort of energy meridian at the time and that I was recycling all of that energy that I was receiving and transmitting it, or not transmitting it, you know like recycling it and refreshing it, refurbishing it and I drew in some cool company though like I was getting a, a bit insecure at the time but like something my inner voice was like just telling me to, to proceed to do what you are doing you have to do it these people are seeing themselves in you and they have to see that they have to and perhaps they need to use you as a sort of model for them to throw everything at when, when in, in general we are we're a collective, we are one, we are, we, we are cells of one functioning organism. So when they, when they are judging you, they are judging themselves and perhaps you need to be the mirror at this point in time and remember that and remember that and keep you strong. Help you stay strong. You're, you are doing a service for other people. And yeah, I, uh, I attracted some interesting people too. Uh, at the moment, like I was feeling a bit whew, worn out from that kind of energy I suppose but also refreshed because I got to meditate and yeah some cool people came over and and talked to me which was a reminder that I was doing the right thing because they were the kind of people that I like they're the kind of people that I feel are on the same life path and you can I feel like you can see from someone's external appearance whether they are on your wavelength or not to a degree um, a certain outfits aren't necessarily affordable <laughs> straight away but you can tell by someone's exterior um, yeah where they're going uh, but yeah so that's uh, 
uh, an experience that I had that sort of represents uh, that. Uh, in another sense, it's it's cool to model and dress yourself up, self up the best that you can from time to time, just to be a representative for whatever movement you are a part of, whether it's a new age or political, you want to represent this um, entity, uh, like the entity could be the movement in itself as best you can, but there are some moments when you are feeling raw and vulnerable where hiding is not an option and people need to know that people are vulnerable and upset sometimes and they need to be able to do that publicly and whether they get report like a uh, report whether they get support or not or the support in itself could just be allowing them to be that way publicly and not letting you it affect you you know what I mean but yeah so that is my perspective on reflective modeling yeah this is a short one